Apparently, my jokes and actions towards Tito last episode were so funny that HR wanted to have a chat with me about it. Somebody anonymously reported workplace misconduct. Shocker. Now, being the incredible boss that I am, there will be no misconduct in my workplace. So HR has asked me to make a public apology to Tito, and I've got that right here. Dear Tito, I'm sorry that you didn't appreciate being aggressively dry humped in the corner, something that many people would pay good money for me to do to them. I'm sorry, Tito, that you don't know how to take a joke. I'm sorry that your barometer of what's funny and appropriate in the workplace is completely skewed. And I'm so sorry, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry that you can't take this yeah! By the way, today's video is sponsored. <gasps> kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wheel of College on It only took 18 episodes, but finally, in the final seconds of last episode, Trey Harris pulled off an unbelievable play. A post route, breaks a tackle, a nasty open field juke, and a touchdown put us at 40 points. The $1,000 Panini Collegiate. We can add one player to the team, and we'll give away every card. Now, at this point, I'm sure you guys have seen me open a lot of these. The card on top is usually the least rare, and the two cards at the back are usually the most rare. So this first one, right up top here is most likely the least expensive in the whole box. Our very first player, right up top there, it kind of looks like Penn State colors. Is that Micah Parsons? Shit! Oh my god, a Penn State Micah! Yo, that's nasty! Let me be clear about something. If you're a collector, you probably don't open these. I don't think these boxes are worth the money. But we get awesome cards like this. So Micah, 7 of 99. There's no patch or auto. It's usually how the first card is. But Penn State stud. Micah definitely has a card in this game. I think it's an 86 or 87 overall. But it would be a huge addition to this team. So already, we have one really, really good option. Card number... To a Deuce Vaughn, Immaculate Jumbo's Deuce Vaughn, 12 of 99 Deuce Vaughn. I don't think Deuce Vaughn has a very good card in this game, if any. He was a baller on Kansas State last year. Or maybe that was two years ago, huh? How long's it been? Regardless, these patch cards are usually better when you get like a piece of the Nike swoosh or a piece of their jersey number or something. You rarely see a patch card with literally just the blank slate. But hey, if you're a Deuce Vaughn fan, Kansas State fan, I got you. I don't think we can add him to the team though. Ooh. Ooh, our first autograph. Yo, and he's actually been really, really good. Tuli to a Pelotu. This is an introductions rookie card. 31 of 49. Rookie. It's a sticker auto, so it's not as expensive, but that's a really, really cool card. This might be one of the sickest cards. I don't know how much it's worth based on the player, but look at this. An absolute piece of art. Cedric Tillman. He had a thousand yards as a junior at Tennessee. Look at that patch. Oh my god. These cards are so sick. I just don't think I can use them. UCLA Go Bruins. Zach Charbonnet, who's now on the Seahawks. He's kind of like Kenneth Walker's backup, but he gets a lot of reps. It's a patch auto 90 of 99 Zach Charbonnet. That is such a sick card. It I don't think he has a card in the game, though. It basically all comes down to the final card in this box. I see orange. I'm thinking Texas or Tennessee or... Holy shit! Yo! Yo, this is nasty. Dude, Bijan Robinson. 36 of 99. It's got an auto on it. Yo, that is nasty! Bijan! All right, not gonna lie. In the whole opening, I don't think this was a super rare opening in general. I think everything we got was out of 99, which is kind of a bummer. No, Tuli Tupelo 2 is out of 49. Deuce Vaughn was out of 99. Pretty sick opening, though. It comes down to two options. Either Micah Parsons or Bijan Robinson. Micah Parsons has an 86 overall ultimate alumni. Oh, Bijan Robinson is an 88? Dude, and right now, I'm pretty sure my running back is BB Gun. BB Jr. is our current running back. I feel like we have no choice but to go Bijan, right? Head first, bronze is not really gonna move the needle too much, but Bijan is 215 pounds, which is really good size. Head first. The other amazing thing is he is locked into the team no matter what. I Obviously, I want to win today, but Bijan's on the team whether we win or lose. Let's stay hot, gentlemen! God, this season of Wheel of Cut has been so much fun, and I'm ready to keep that going right now with the Wheel of Cut. Okay. Come on, baby! Yeah! 100K? No, keep going. 200K. 200K. We take those! True! 100K! 
100,000 coins to spend on one player is so good in this game because this market is so clapped. The best players are a bazillion and everybody else costs like nothing. There's this massive wage gap. Similar to how women get paid less than men for the same job, which by the way, is the best thing we ever came up with. You can buy virtually any 88 overall in the game for 50K. In fact, you can get any 89 overall for the most part under 100. Realistically, we have God Squad wide receivers, a stud halfback, and a mediocre offensive line. We either go for a tight end or we go for a middle linebacker. Middle linebacker probably being more important. The best middle linebacker available for 100K is Sean Dolich. Dolich? I don't know, but it's actually really cool to have a guy like this because how often are we going to get a Buffalo Bull on this lineup? Not to mention, this guy's actually a dog. Six foot, 220, 88 speed, 89 excel, and 80 change of direction. That is a very, very good user middle linebacker. You might want him to be a little bit taller, but beggars can't be choosers. And I'm, I'm excited to have this dude on the team. He's a hell of a lot better than Bobby Walker Smith. Good start, gentlemen. An 89 overall middle linebacker? Now you're talking. Hey, tell me why we're getting heat right now. Any 88, 89 legend? There are literally so many good options here. I feel like we do need a left end. And offensively, I'd either get O-line or tight end. It is so hard to look at a college legend like Tavon Austin and pass him up. But like, we actually literally don't need him at all on this team. We just don't need him at all. I was once a kicker myself, and I hate to admit this, but Zane Gonzalez is the best pick up here. Oh, I hate that. The only thing that redeems this is he's an Arizona State Sun Devil and I live right next to Arizona State. People always wonder why I live right next to Arizona State. Do you understand how easy it is to pick up college f through? Dude, he's low-key got 86 speed, 85 excel if you ever want to pull out a trick play. That lands us on our third and final wheel spin of today's episode. Keep in mind, our record is one and one. So we need four more wins to make the playoffs. We're gonna get two 80s, a pretty tame wheel spin, but still really good because there's so many silvers on this lineup. Yeah, I mean, offensively, every upgrade would be pretty minor other than maybe picking up a tight end that's not Nowakowski. I feel like we can get by with Nowakowski. At left end, I'm taking 80 overall DeAndre Ragin because that is a top tier name. And at middle linebacker, I am taking, suck my balls and call me racist. I'm not picking you up because then I gotta try and do that name 80 times a game. This guy plays the game the right way and his father gave him a pronounceable name. Matt Jones, Baylor, welcome to the squad, buddy. All right, gentlemen, I'm feeling really good about today's episode. Matt Jones and Sean Dolick in the interior linebacker. DeAndre Ragin at left end. Legendary kicker Zane Gonzalez, 89 overall. And from our Panini Immaculate Box, Texas Longhorn Bijan Robinson. We're rocking an 84 overall team, but we've still got Wank Cockmeyer. He is 1 0. Wank Cockmeyer is 1 0. I'm not benching this dude until he loses a game. Shit! All right, we're loading into the game and the challenge wheel is spinning. I never liked doing this. Oh, yards per carry. This could work. I was gonna say this would be really scary, but we do have Bijan now, so it's very possible. Oh, shh. Oh, I thought that was ACS, my team. Travis Hunter, James Pierce Jr., Trey Harris. Oh, I'm lagging like a bitch. D'Angelo Hall, LT Overton, Alonzo Barrett. I don't know what it is with the servers today, but I'm lagging like all hell. We need, of course, a win. Seven plus yards per carry is no joke. That means on average, every time Bijan's getting a handoff, he's got to take it for seven yards or more. Why don't we start out with one of our best run plays? My offensive line is not good enough to be running at the interior, so we're going to have to go to the edge for now. We'll start out with a good run out of Bijan Robinson. Bijan's open. Can he bend this corner? Hey, that's how you fight, Bijan. All right, we're taking this to the right side speed option. It's risky, but we got to get those. Bijan, what the fuck? I have the ball! All right, Cockmeyer was not built for that play. What on earth just happened? Dude, Bijan soared. We gotta see that again, dog. What the fuck? I'm gonna block Nowakowski. McMillan. Shit. What the fuck? None of that was what I wanted to do. I was so slow. All of my receivers got all bundled up over there. That was not what I wanted. Tell you what though, gentlemen, we got a lot of football left to be played. I'm not gonna overreact. That's why you don't overreact. That's why you don't overreact. Tenaroa, McMillan, Tima. This makes up for all the times you completely sold the game. Just kidding. Guys, I actually saw the comments. Apparently it was Trey Harris who sold, not McMillan. Hey, Zane Gonzalez, PAT. He's just built like that. All right, I'll take a little freebie. All skill, actually. That was a full skill kick return. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. Look at Zane Gonzalez, dude. What a pickup. All right, well, now we're even. 
Unless Bijan can track him down. Unless Bijan can track him down! That's why we got you, Bijan! Can you imagine a real life college football game where everyone's just kick returning on each other? Mm, counter run. He's gonna be tackled. Nice work, gentlemen. All right, we're sending a little bit of a blitz here, and I'm gonna use her, Michael Williams. Come on. Hey! Ah, uh, shit. I don't wanna be on horse sleeve! Hey! Get clamped up! You just got clamped up by a 400 pound D tackle! Fourth and five, his own 19. He's going for it. I'm on Michael. I've got a QB spy. We guess pass. He's got the escape route. Nice play. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! I would actually poop my- I would actually break everything in my house. He broke the tackle for negative yardage and doesn't get it. That is the unluckiest thing I've seen today. And now I'm gonna hit him- Dude, we tried this last game and it was unbelievable. I wonder if this is still cracked. Okay, it's not still cracked. But- it is still crap! Just Bijan's going for seven! Second and three, I think he's running man coverage. I think I just need to dust him with McMillan a few times before he, he gives up the man coverage. Damn, and a big stiff arm. Tedaroa is having a huge game so far. He's got a kick return touchdown and a massive stiff arm right there. Got him. Ooh, that was ugly. All right, we had an ugly start to this game, but I think we're putting it we're putting it together nicely right now. I'm gonna go inside zone split the Bijan. We gotta get seven plus yards. Jesus, man. I mean, we got him before with this Trey Harris route. I wonder if I can get him again. Oh my God, Trey Harris single coverage. That's a little short. Oh my God, he damn near came out with that. Trey Harris, you dirty dog. He's on Chubb. He's not gonna. Fourth and nine, Loki. I could take the Zane Gonzalez field goal. Why did Bijan not catch that? Oh, it's a horrible ball. Look at this ball. This is horrid. Although it did just smack Tedaroa in the hands. I feel like we should have gotten that. I think it's man coverage, but I think McMillan can just fucking raw. Oh, horrible defense. Wink. Cockmeyer just completely sold that drive. Two horrible balls. Two uncatchable balls. Yeah, I mean, hey, he's, he's only an 80 overall. Oh, this is play action. Hey, we just gotta keep playing great defense. It's still tied up seven to seven. He does get ball at half though. Corner out. I can't get to it. Ooh, good defense. James Pierce Jr. gets home. Yeah, he's gonna. It's gonna be difficult for him to step up and scramble every time. I don't think he's gonna have a lot of success doing that. I'm not supposed to be on horse sleep, but I'm clamping with him again. Yo, every time I get stuck on the D tackle, I clamp. All right, this is risky, but I think we might have the personnel for this. Oh, just kidding. Let's get out of this. Fuck, he snaps the ball so fast. Big tackles! Fourth and one! QB sneak. I'm run committing middle. So if he passes, he gets a touchdown. He's burning clock. Two, and we're all over it! Tevarua Tafiti, the silver! Blows that up. Wow, he was chewing clock too. He was trying to like, he was trying to cheese that out. Alright, well, our defense is playing out of their minds. His only touchdown right now. What is his touchdown right now? Was it a pick six? Or did he get in the end zone? I really don't remember. The worst slip screen you'll ever see. Why is everyone on my team playing like shit now? Second and nine. Holy shit. If we can get out of this game alive, we can keep all our players and we can replace Cockmeyer. If this is man coverage, I want to bomb Trey Harris. Oh my god, he's got him! Trey Harris! You cannot man guard him! You can't! It's all Miss, baby! Dude, we just gotta get out of this game alive. I'm not playing very well right now. And we can rethink Wank Cockmeyer. As much as I love the guy, nobody loves the guy more than me. I got a DM from someone the other day. He they said uh they know Hank Bachmeyer and they said he throws in um six milligram zins before every game, which I really, I really respect. And I would love the sweet, juicy nectar of the gods that is a zen. But I'm not even gonna lie, boys. I'm like 50 days clean now. I'm chilling. I'm big chilling, in fact. Uh-oh. That actually looks kind of open. That's definitely not. Wait, what's the clock? What's the clock? What's the clock? Do I house this? I have to. Oh, Nice play. I couldn't see the damn clock and I'd use your pick over the thing. I didn't know how much time was left. That was a great play by him though. Regardless, I've been playing great defense all game. We just keep it up. Can't let him run the ball on me though. If he starts to establish the run, we're gonna be in trouble. So what did he do here? This is play action. Oh, shit. I didn't know those plays still work. Don't run the ball. Wow, what a play. Look at Will Johnson just completely bottled up over there. Great defense. Great defense. Third and nine. Game Spears Jr., baby. Oh, Mikel. Mikel is wearing teared. Yup! 
He was looking at that escape route. We had it all locked up. It's fourth and 13, and he is in a lot of trouble. I think I'm just gonna send a fucking screamer at him. Just don't let him get any time to throw this deep enough. Get home! Oh, what a play call. Can I tackle him? What a fucking play call. I can't believe he did that on 4th and 13 and it worked. If I did anything but blitz there, we were fine. Stay locked in. Let him make a mistake. I'm on Brooks. Ooh. Wow. That was crazy. I think at this point in this game, we just gotta go straight at him. He does not see this. Let's get inside of Hopkins. They never expect the smoke screen. The smoke screen out of B. John Robinson. What a play call. I think Noah Kowski might be open if this is still zoned. Nope, this is man coverage. I would love to see him lock up T-Mac on this. He can't. Beautiful. Snap it. There's a flag? I might have just bailed me out. I think he just got a DPI. I don't know that I've ever played a game where I've been so bailed out. Like, I don't deserve this win, but I think I'm gonna get it. This doesn't feel right at all. I don't like how this feels. I'm gonna try and decoy him with this motion. Definitely could have thrown that to T-Mac, but the smart thing was just to go down. I don't have my challenge right now. I need to break off a big run with Bijan if I want it. I wonder if T-Mac just burns him on this corner out. He'd have to go user it. Okay, actually. There's a really weird route to work right there, but Trey Harris, have a day, buddy. Kind of just hitting him with everything right now. Motion spot. I'm going to throw this to Bijan. Bijan. Bijan! Oh my god! It's a fucking touchdown. That's not a bad, that's a bad ball, though. Like a really bad ball. Cockmeyer sold it. If, if Cockmeyer's got his... I think I can just do that again. Oh, he's backing him up. He's backing him up. He knows. I still got him. Oh, my God. Cockmire. Oh, wait. Low key. Cockmire's selling the whole fucking game. The dude can't throw the football to save his life. He has missed so many easy throws today. Third and ten. Now we got to make a really clutch play just to keep this drive alive. What a bummer. Can he hit Bijan on the easy one? He can. Now it makes it a manageable fourth and four or a 52-yard field goal. I'm frustrated, man. That was two separate Trey Harris touchdowns. But at the same time, like, I'm not certain that I deserve to be in this game. Yep. You gotta love that little route combo right there. The drag and the slant, the user has to take one, and you pick the other. That was beautiful. Also, I could still get the challenge if Bijan takes this to the house. First and ten, we're going sweep to the left. Bijan. Bijan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we kind of knew that wasn't going to go very far, huh? Can I catch him sleeping and get a Bijan Robinson slip screen to win this ball game? Oh my God. There's only one guy you need to block, gentlemen. There's only one guy you need to block. That's the guy. Good Lord. What are we doing? I'm kind of looking at Trey Harris to end this ball game. Blankham C drops it. We need a 47-yard field goal out of Zane Gonzalez. Hey, this is why we got Zane Gonzalez. And I can't tell if that's accurate or not. Honestly, like, is that going to go in? It's really good power, really good accuracy. Is that going to go in? Holy shit. Hey, now we got to play defense for 50 seconds. He's got one timeout. It's college, though, right? And uh, he's already virtually returned a kick. So we really got to hold here. Good. Hey, great return coverage. Does he go jet sweep or fake jet sweep? No, he really runs it, but it's bottled. That was a really bad play call. Cover three sky. I feel like he looks for a corner route. Okay, but can we keep him in bounds? That's a good play. Not really fake the blitz. This is a blitz. What? Oh my God, I thought he caught it. If he had caught it, the clock would be running. Look at this play. What the fuck happened? Dude, nobody's screen plays are working today. If he wants to take something short just to get the first down, I'd be cool with that. That's something short. Oh! I'm so sorry, man. I have never deserved to win less. I'm so sorry. This isn't right. Dude, that's like, that's one of those games. It's where you reevaluate how you're spending your time, bro. That's one of those games where you go, you know what? I'm finally gonna get a job. You know, everyone's been telling me to touch grass. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh my God, we live to fight another day. The most undeserving two in one. And I will say earlier in today's episode, I said Wank Cockmeyer is not coming out unless he loses a game. He did just win a game today, but he won a game because of defense, a 
bit of luck, and a Teteroa McMillan kick return touchdown. Cogmire sold. Trey Harris should have had 225 yards and two touchdowns. Your days are numbered, buddy. Bijan did look really good, though. Trey Harris and McMillan were big balling. And defensively, Sean Dolick is a freak. We win those, gentlemen. All right, boys, I love you. You're so handsome, and the sheer girth of your cock is visible. Um, even when you're soft. Don't play these videos in front of your family. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>